Welcome back to the channel. Some somber news here, but also some good news as well, which I'll get to. But first for the sad part, I lost my best and most prominent and beautiful and probably valuable fish right here. You see on screen diamond, my OB African cichlid, who was my tank boss in my 65 gallon N, then later in my 135 gallon, he was about five years old. And there he is right there when he, when he passed away. You can see him upside down. And you usually see some bite marks on the fins. But of course, that doesn't mean that was the cause of him, of his death. It, it could have just been, you know, afterwards. Anyway, he had lost his place as tank boss. I did a video on that where I, where I mentioned it's like Game of Thrones in my fish tank. So you can go back and see that one. And that may have had something to do with his stress and his passing, that right there, that white fish on the top, if you follow my channel, you know that Storm Shadow. She was his mate. They were paired up and they had fry a few times. Let me activate the lights there. And now for the good news, Diamond may have passed, but he's had many fry, mostly with Storm Shadow, whom you saw at the top there a minute ago when I pointed her out, the pearly white female. Right here is Diamond's son. This is probably of the fry now it's a juvenile, I guess, that, that he's had. This is the most promising, I think, of, of his offspring. So at least part of him lives on in my projects here that I have. And that is the one that I think is going to have the most promise to be a beautiful male and possibly a tank boss as well. We're looking back here at Diamond in his heyday. This is probably maybe six months to a year after I got him. This is back in the 65 gallon when he was running the show in there. And you can see he's kind of in breeding mode right here. So I wanted to show him in his prime here, not just show him when he passed away. And he made it to five or six years. Like I said, I think he was about two to three when I got him because he was a good size. And then lived a couple more years, summer of 2019 to 2000. I'm sorry, 2017 to 2019. Here he is right here back in the 65 making his preparations there. That cave was always kind of like his apartment when it was breeding time. And you're gonna see him do his mating dance around Storm Shadow. I've got other videos of them as well that I'll post at the end of this video where you can see him and Storm Shadow pairing up and, and breeding. And there's a little bit of that in this clip right here. He's still swimming around here in the 65 gallon. It looks as if Storm Shadow might have been holding at this point although they were new. See, he's doing his little mating dance right there, trying to fertilize. Although they may have been new to it, I don't think they, they really knew what they were doing the first time around. They didn't have fry in this tank, but when they got to the 135, Storm Shadow was holding, I think, twice, and he he fertilized the, the eggs, and they all hatched and everything. So here we are back in his heyday now in the 135, and you can see they always swam together. I mean, this is why they call him a, a pair, He's kind of like her security guard. She turns, he turns, she goes to one side. She kind of, he kind of follows her or backs her up. And I think he knows those eggs are, are going to be his children, the ones that she's holding in her mouth right here in these clips. So I almost didn't buy Diamond. I explained this before in another video. I was actually at the checkout counter, but I had seen him and really wanted him, but he was a little larger than the other cichlids I was getting back when I was first stocking. And I had the clerk turn around and go back and bag him. I said, you know what, that one is too, it's too good to pass up. And I'm gonna selfishly say he's the best OB I've ever seen. And I'm, I'm the nut who stops at every tropical fish store. Every time I drive by one or I'm in proximity to one, I stop and I look at what they have and I'm always on YouTube. and. I think Diamond is the best I've ever seen. So sad that he's gone. Kind of a cruel summer or a cruel beginning to the summer right now, I should say. But like I said, he does have children among my fish and hopefully we'll get a couple of them that end up being as amazing as he was. Comment below, please. Let me know what your thoughts are and what your experiences are with your African cichlids. Have you had lifespans that have gone beyond five, six, seven, eight years? Have you made it to 10 years? I know some people have, so I'd love to hear about it and maybe what your tank conditions are like. I personally don't think there was anything wrong. Just, you know, sometimes a cichlid can pass at five years and he had just lost his throne. 
that might have had something to do with it. He was a little stressed and depressed, and that might have led to him getting sick. So it's unfortunate. He will be missed, but he will live on here on YouTube.